Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In my last tutorial someone in the comments asked me to make a blood and dirt lens effect because he couldn't find anything like this on the internet and he also told me to check out this video. Here's the effect. So as you can see there are some slight blood drops on the screen that fade out after a small amount of time. So this is what we're going to make on this video. Now let me open Unreal Engine and show you my final result. Okay. As you can see, there are some blood drops on the screen every time the enemy hits me. And you can change the color, the intensity and many other parameters to make it however you like. There is also a small distortion effect under the blood drops, as you can see on the rocks. And this is what we're going to make okay this effect is made by a post-process material this is it as you can see it's not very complex the blood drops are made with noise so let's get started I got the screen align UVs because if I take the texture coordinate as you can see if I stretch the resolution of the screen the drops are also stretched and I don't want that so I plug the UVs to this node so when I scale the resolution the drops won't get stretched okay then I made two noise nodes with these settings to make them look like drops and I duplicated the same noise and added with itself but in the first one I also add a downward flow to make a cooler effect as you can see this is the result after the addition it looks like the drops are slowly dripping down and to make this I used a banner I also made a tiling parameter as you can see if I change it it changes the size of the drops I leave it to 16 for now okay then I made another noise that determines which of those blood drips are going to be shown where it's black they won't be shown and where it's white they will uh, every time my character gets hit I get a random value and change this noise so different blood drips get shown every time then I added a Fresnel effect so
if someone doesn't want blood drops on the center of the screen he can change this parameters and the blood drops will be visible only on the white parts of the Fresnel of the vignette I'm sorry alright then I have a parameter from a material parameter collection which determines the opacity of the whole effect so when my character gets hit this is one and it slowly goes to zero for now I have it to one so we can see it on here if I plug this it will be black Here I apply some distortion to the image under the drops to make them more realistic and then I paint the drops with a color parameter and I also have some other parameters for the darkness, the intensity, the distortion and this is the final effect as you can see here on the edges it gets distorted and you can set whatever whatever color you want now oh, my blood is green but I will leave it as it was I can add the vignette as you can see when I change it, the uh, blood drops disappear from the center, but I will leave it to zero. I can change the size of the drops. I can make it smaller, bigger. I can change the drop intensity as you can see the higher this value is the more sharp my drops get I would leave it back at 1.1 I like this it looks a bit more blurry the drop darkness is a value between 0 and 1 this makes them transparent the distortion changes the distortion under the drops as you can see I leave it to a lower value and the color intensity does exactly what it says it changes the color intensity alright this was about the material now let me show you the blueprint that changes the opacity this is it when I spawn this actor it gets a random int and sets the random int parameter from my material parameter collection as you can see I have those two values lerp which is the opacity and the random int and then it plays a timeline which goes from 0 to 5 seconds and it starts from 1 and then slowly goes down to 0 and it updates the lerp parameter from my parameter collection then after the timeline is finished the actor gets destroyed and I spawn this actor every time I get hit 
here if the player gets hit his player I print hit by enemy I get all the blood effects blueprints destroy them and spawn a new one so this is basically the effect let me plug the lerp again and showcase it for a last time I'll wait for this guy to get up alright as you can see the blood drops work perfectly fine just like the other game we saw in the beginning so that's the tutorial for today thank you for watching if you have any more questions feel free to ask in the comments and I will see you all in the next one